Hello there. For anyone new to my channel, I'm Sam Moser, and we're inside the cargo van which I converted into a camper. In this video, I'm going to talk about five things I would change about my van. Now, for the most part, these are things that I would most likely change if I was starting the build over from scratch. And some of these are things that I might go ahead and change in this van in the future. Okay, so let's jump right in. So the first thing has to do with airflow. In my van, I have a single roof vent, but I'd really like to have two roof vents, one in the front of the van and one in the back of the van. One roof vent on its own really isn't enough to create good circulation through the whole van. Now, if you have one roof vent plus strategically placed openings, whether it be windows or something else to let air in, you can make that work. But if you do have two roof vents, you can really control the circulation through here, have one fan pulling air in, one fan pushing air out, and get good flow. Now this is the change that I'm most serious about making pretty soon, and I've been trying to figure out how I can fit in a second roof in in here. With the Ford Transit, figuring out the roof layout for this is actually a little bit tricky. So on the Transit, if you have the standard body length, there's quite a long slope before the roof flattens out. And where I have this roof vent mounted, this is actually about the farthest forward that it can be mounted before you start to get to that sloped section of the roof. Now, this isn't very far forward. Um, in some of the vans like the ProMaster, the roof flattens off really close to the front of the van. And you can put your forward fan really far forward, another fan in the back, and have quite a bit of room in between the two for solar panels. In the Ford Transit, this isn't so much the case. So I've been trying to figure out how to create a roof rack to accommodate this a little better. And what I'm thinking I'll do actually is make a new rack that extends out a little bit further past where my current fan is. And then I will mount some solar panels to the side and one out in front of that fan actually. And that'll give me the room in the back to put another roof in. Because right now where I have my solar panels mounted would interfere with adding a second fan. The second thing I would change about the van would be adding a way to shower. Now, something inside would be preferable, but something that sets up outside at the back of the van could also work. In my video tour of the van, which was the first video I did about it, I got so many questions in the comments about why I didn't design in a shower. And the reason was this wasn't something that I wanted to prioritize and dedicate space for. Right now, we haven't been traveling around in the van. When we were traveling, this never really was a problem for us. What we did is we got a gym membership at a chain that had locations all over, and when we wanted to shower, then we'd stop by there, sometimes work out, and then use their showers. Now though, since everything looks so different in the world due to COVID-19, I don't know if this would be such a feasible option anymore. So the more I think about it, now I would prioritize more space to adding some sort of shower setup in the van. Adding a shower would also make adding a hot water heater to my water system a necessity. So that's something I might be installing in the van before too long. Okay, so while I'm talking about changes to the water system, this gets to the third thing I'd like to change about my van. And that would be a bigger and easier to empty gray water tank. Now, as I showed in my video on the water system, what I currently use for a gray water tank is a small portable container that sits inside this cabinet here. Let me grab it. So this is a seven gallon aquatainer, and it's worked quite well. What I'd really like to have though, is a large fixed tank that's mounted underneath the van. And the main reason for this is just to have more capacity, have a larger tank that doesn't need to be emptied quite as often. Now I know this brings in some complications in terms of cold weather, um, and it's not the perfect situation for every scenario, but overall, I think I would like that better. The other thing I like about this idea is just that it would free up this cabinet. Um, this is a pretty sizable cabinet that I dedicate to the gray water container, and it'd be nice just to have this as extra storage space, which having the tank mounted underneath would open that up. Now for the next thing, let's move to the back of the van. So the fourth thing I would change about my van is the back of the van or the area under the bed here that I call the garage space. Now, really there's probably a lot of separate things here that I could 
call out, but I'm going to kind of lump this all together. So the first thing is I really didn't end up leaving enough space to store bikes easily. I can cram two bikes in there, but it's a really tight fit and I have to fit them in in a very particular way. So what I'd like to do would be to take all of the electronics and the battery and all that and scoot that towards this back corner. So then I could take the fridge and scoot it over to the side and that would free up more of this space so that I could create a wider bay to store bikes in. Now that's really all part of a much larger functional change I'd like to make to the back of the van. So let me explain. So the way our layout is, we have the fixed bed that goes across the back here. And I really like the layout of our van. And while traveling, we've always been really happy with the layout and always really liked the fixed bed. Now there are times though, where I'd like to be able to use the van to haul things. I'd like to be able to pick up big materials for new projects I'm working on. And I'd like to be able to have more open space back here that I could use to load big cargo or even just you know easily fit in sheets of plywood. So what I'd like to do is have a way where we can transition between the fixed bed cross the back as a travel mode and fold that up out of the way to have a utility mode. So basically what I'd like to have is everything in the back here condensed to two cabinets along either side. Fixed bed that would span across that. And then when we wanted to, we could fold up the bed cushions, fold up the platform across the center, and then have a big open galley space through the middle that could be used for whatever utility purpose, loading in things, hauling things, and just have that availability to not have this fixed bed across the back all the time that takes over the space. Okay, so that one was a little tricky to explain, but hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now for the fifth thing. I wish my van had better off-road capabilities. Now, if you want a van with four-wheel drive, or you wanna take a two-wheel drive van and convert it to have four-wheel drive, well then that costs a lot more money. Now when it comes to driving down rough roads, vans aren't the worst thing to start with. I mean, compared to something like a sedan or a minivan, they already have a much more rugged chassis and a little better ground clearance. I think the thing that cripples my van the most when it comes to dirt or low traction conditions is the fact that I have a totally open differential in the back. This means that if even just one of those back wheels is in a slippery spot, I can lose traction and the van could get stuck. I think the most cost-effective option to improve the off-road capabilities of my van would be to get a locking rear differential installed in the back. The differential in the Ford Transit is a pretty standard size and most off-road shops could install a different one. The way the locking ones work is under normal driving conditions, you leave it in the fully open mode. And then when you get in one of those low traction situations where you need equal amounts of torque sent to both of those rear wheels, you engage that locking mechanism. I think that this, along with some nicer tires and maybe a little bit of a lift for the van, would greatly improve its off-road capabilities and allow us to get even more places in the van. I bet some of y'all thought I would say that I'd want to change this partition in the van, but I actually really like having the partition between the front of the van and the back. All right, so that's it. That's my list of five things I would change about my van. Now, when I was putting this together, I really did try to think of more things and try to come up with a longer list, but I had trouble thinking of things outside of this that I'd want to change. There are two kind of small things I'll list off. One is a pretty minor gripe, which is about the white paint. I like the white paint because it gives a nice open and light look and feel, but it really does show scratches and scuffs easily and it just gets dirty easily. So in some of the lower high traffic areas, I went with the blue, but there's even more spots I could have done that with, I think. Overall though, I still like the white color. Another thing, and this would really come into play more if I had a bigger van, it wouldn't work in this size van, but it would really be nice to have additional seating in the back, you know, with seat belts that was safe for passengers to ride in back here. So with the size van, it's not something I would dedicate space to, 
but if I was building out a bigger van, I would definitely put a row or at least you know two seats in here for more passengers. As I mentioned earlier, I might work on making some of these changes to my van in the coming months, but I don't have any of that exactly mapped out yet. I do want to give a little bit of a channel update though, and I'll talk about this more in my next video. But I think with this video, I'm going to be wrapping up my current van build series and moving on to making videos about some of the new projects I've been working on. I do hope you stick around though as I continue to build things and improve my craft. All right, see you next time. Bye.